Hey, what's up, y'all? It's TJ Moses, the Lioness, and this is Maybach Music, if you did not know. And I'm hanging with my girl, Ty McCary, on Noisemakers on Edge. Life is just complex simplicity. Bug it out. Um, the last person I was with my boyfriend was my children's father. We've been separated for eight years. Um, we had a very serious, that was my first and last boyfriend. Well, like, first, first real boyfriend. Okay. Like, okay. boyfriend that you go in with. You yeah. know what I mean? Impulsive. Everybody else was like, well, just go in in private. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the reason I've been single for eight years is because I'm extremely picky. Mm -hmm. I'm just really picky. Thinking you know? about what specific? Sincerity. That's what I'm most picky about. Okay. Sincerity. And then, sincerity on both parts. You know, like, sincerely he's into me, sincerely I'm into him. That's the, what is that, the relationship that brought about complex simplicity, right? People say that. People say that? Well, mm -hmm. what do you say? Different friends of mine, they were like, you wrote this about Raz. And I'd be like, no, I didn't. But I just guess it just came out. Mm. I didn't feel like I was writing about him. At that time, I wasn't frustrated or angry or wanting to be with him or anything, but people tend to tell me they think it came from that. Complex simplicity feels like a diary. It doesn't feel like it was a collection of songs that you made because you wanted radio play or because this is hot right now. It feels like your diary. It feels like something that's it was. true to you. It was. Were you nervous or hesitant at all about being that honest on your first album? I didn't know I was being that honest. <laughs> You know, girl, I I started trying to get a deal six months before I got a deal. That's amazing. I started trying to get a deal not knowing I was trying to get a deal. I just wanted to do some songs, you know? And, you know, you say you want to do something and you set out with this goal in mind, but you have no vision for where you're going, how you're going to get there, who you're going to be getting there, and how you want to portray yourself. All I knew was I've been listening to Raz's beats forever. And when he leaves Beats Home and he leaves these CDs, I put them in and I freestyle songs to him. And I like this. Me and him, we've broken up. He was the provider. Now I gotta provide. Everybody else would go get a nine to five, which would probably be the smart thing to do. I just said, hey, I can sing, I can write songs. I'm gonna try to do some music and make some money for me and the kids. And that's what that was. So I didn't think twice about anything. write that song with the thought process of somebody's going through this so let me write it for them or is it more so therapeutic for you to write these songs and to kind of feel good and if somebody happens to get something from it then they happen to get something from it's, it it's definitely for me but like I say when I go back to complex simplicity I did not write with consciousness of writing songs yeah. do you understand what I'm saying yeah. I never knew what it was like for somebody to hear a song and like it or not I never let nobody hear those songs. And to this day, I'm not the kind of person that go, oh, I got this new record, you gotta hear it, because I don't care what you think. <laughs> and I don't mean that in no rude way, but it's like, how can I, why do I need your approval for my record? Yeah. The record has to move me. So once it moves me, then I'm like, okay, it'll move them or it won't. But once it, I'm the hardest person to please. I was not that blown away by complex simplicity. I wasn't. I'm just going to be really? honest with you. And that's the first time I ever said that, honestly. I was not that blown away by it. Because I'm such, I'm such an aggressive person. And I felt like I came off as weak. But over time, after I listened to it, the words were strong. You know, the yeah. sound was soft. And, it, it, and I have to thank Paul Pauly for that. Shout out to Paul Pauly, because he gave me my sound. He helped me find my sound. Because I initially wanted to do the vibe of... Um, Yes. What's her name? Uh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Okay. Rock the boat. That vibe was what I wanted. Uh -huh. Her record had come out, and that was the I wanted my whole record to feel like that. You know, rock the boat. It was just a fresh, easy, sexy song. Yeah. And we kind of found a sound that way. But I didn't. I wasn't blown away by Complex Simplicity until I sat back and listened to it all afterwards. Maybe after they come out and. People, I didn't know if people were fooling with it or not. I didn't know, but one day I just sat down and listened to it and I really cried. I never told nobody this. And I cried and I listened and I was like, whoa, God is really real because how did this get here? I didn't have no vision for this, you know what I mean? I didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted to take care of these kids and not be homeless, you know? 
God is good. I had no vision for that.